Good afternoon everybody and I want to thank you for joining me on this solo stealth camp adventure. The time is 4 p.m. It is I believe March March 5th. It's raining pretty good out. We're gonna see what kind of trouble we can find today. It's raining pretty good. Um, it's gonna drop to about uh, 20 some degrees tonight. We got a hot tent in case we need it. Keep ourselves dry. Um, we are gonna be in city limits on a public walking trail. And we're getting on it right now. To be fair, the chances of seeing anybody today should be fairly small since it's so rainy and cold out. Not even half a mile into the hike and my shoes are completely soaked so this should be fun made her into the woods off the trail a little bit just kind of exploring back here oh that's pretty beautiful See some people up ahead. I gotta be super careful to stay back so they don't see me. I'll just hold gigs up. I think we found it folks. It's a little bit off the beaten trail. It'd be very hard for anybody to find this without doing a little bit of bushwhacking and getting their feet wet. It's rainy and coldy out. So we should be safe. I don't think those people see me. We'll see what happens. This is gonna be home for the night. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is get thick for my tent because I didn't bring my tent pole. So it's gotta be about five foot, two inches tall. Let's get to work with the stick. I think this soggy old thing will actually work. Let's use it. So I got her tent pole made, now it's time to get about four stakes ready. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm talking a little loud, we gotta be quiet out here. Let's get them made. Should 
work. Last one. Let's try them. Well, that was pretty special. I didn't realize that I set up my camp literally right where over 30 deer lived. So I moved down a little bit of ways from there to give them their home back. The new spot I got is pretty sick anyways. Check this out. Nice old prairie there. Got ourselves a hammer, now let's beat it in. Hoping that the ground is on thawed this time.
perfect. Go to the opposite side next. Stake just broke a bit. Time for our third one. Can at least get out of this rain. Fourth stake, here we go. You can tell this is a lot more, a lot easier than just using normal pegs. I'm happy the ground's on frozen though. Oh, that makes it so much easier. All right, moment of truth. Too tight. So I took a peg out and it made it a little bit less tight. Let's try it again. went up all right I got it halfway standing so I'm gonna take a minute now and actually get the rest of my uh, tent stakes made and finally getting it secured this was so long ago now it's hard to tell but there is an old campfire ring here the stones huh interesting no I'm not the first one that ever camped here before Cool. Guess I picked the good ones. Okay guys, I got it set up for the most part. I don't think it's looking too shabby for not even using a tent pole. And using my own stakes. It's raining, so I'm gonna get all my gear in the tent now. Got a bit of a mess going on right here, but I got everything in the tent. Got a bit of a tarp laid out. We're gonna put my sleeping bag right there. Or in some type of configuration like that. Time is 5.15 p.m. It's 48 degrees. We are in tornado watch right now, even though it is March. Early March, too. But, even though it's only 48 degrees, it's gonna get down to 25 overnight. So, it is actually a pretty dangerous time to be outside because if you got drenched during this rain, and then had to stay the night, you'd freeze. Ah, oh, that looks good. Let's get our sleeping bag on there now. It's our zero degree bag still. That is what we're gonna use tonight. We're still not gonna switch to the three season bag yet. This pillow is so nifty, you know. 
people like to use sweatshirts and I've used it too, but nothing beats the comfort of this to be honest. Blows up easy enough and we're done with the setup so at this point the hot tent is optional I do have a chimney with me I can set up if I want to um, so with that being said it is safe to crack this because at this point there is no risk of me freezing I've got a tent for protection so I'm gonna be completely fine so cheers guys Ooh, right over the sleeping bag and sleeping pad, baby. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna collect some firewood now. It is a lot easier setting this up when it's not freezing out. Oh my God, that is nice. It's that easy to set up. The chimney pipe is a little bit harder, but we're gonna set that up right now. Gotta wear gloves here because the titanium's super thin and it will cut you very easily. It's not too hard to roll up if I'm being honest. It is the very first time, but that's about it. And to be honest, you also be honest, you got a lot of balls doing this on a stealth camp. Setting up a goddamn hot tent. I mean, come on. Who does that? <laughs> This is taking me a bit longer than it normally does. This is a new chimney pipe though, so it's kind of still getting broken in a little bit. Did a pretty good job rolling it. There's not like any, not a ton of major catastrophes. I don't know if you can see it guys, but we have a visitor. Can you see him? He's looking right at us. Bad news guys. I accidentally lost my lighter or forgot it. So I'm walking back on the trail to see if I can find this stinking thing. 
why it's always a good idea to carry a magnesium rod. I really need to get one. Ah, that was a major setback, guys. Major setback. So guys, that was a huge setback losing my lighter. I had to walk all the way back to my car over two miles away to get a spare one and I'm back. But the bonus here is that because I walked back to my car and I had nothing on my back, I was able to get a lantern to bring with me. So it started snowing a bit. It's been thundering. It's been raining hard. My feet are miserable right now. They're soaking wet. They're itching like crazy. Um, I don't even have the stove started yet. I'm gonna baton some wood. I need to get some wood dried out here. So that's what I'm gonna do is baton some wood and start the stove. Try to keep my feet moving, collect some more firewood so that we can have a comfortable night. Um, let's get to work because my feet are very itchy. By the way, guys, you're really not supposed to baton wood when you're stealth camping. This fire is uh, being really hard to start right now. I have to use pieces about this big. Super small pieces because anything bigger puts out the fire immediately. So I have to break, basically break it down into this kind of stuff right here. And I'm just slowly feeding it. I am having some success getting it going though. But everything out here is very wet. Making it really hard to get anything going.
starting to get a bit hotter in there. <clears throat> I can feel the heat really starting to radiate now. Got to keep feeding it though. We got to get some good bed of coals in there to get all this stuff able to burn anything. All right, guys, the time is 7.56. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep fueling this stove, get it really nice and toasty in here, get it warm enough for cooking. In the meantime, I'm going to keep splitting wood, keep feeding it. Going to enjoy my delicious chocolate dunkle. If you guys got yours at home, go ahead and crack them. Oh, it's always good in the hot tent. All right, guys, for dinner we got red pepper, red onion, tomato lettuce, a little bit of habanero, got some soup, bacon, and uh, I think that's pretty much it tonight. Got some six pack of chocolate dunkles with us, plenty of beer. God, I'd be honest if I wasn't a little worried about my steaks. I really hope the hole they're only made of wood, so. Who knows? Almost 10 o'clock and I haven't even ate yet. The wood is just so wet and damp that it just I got heat in here but it's hard to even get a boil of water going I guess I'm just noob oh boy hopefully we get some dinner here soon at least it's warm in here
folks, would you look at that? We got broccoli, rice, bacon, delicious broth. We got winds threatening to take down our tent, but we are eating good in here right now. Oh my God, this is gonna be delicious. leading humidity is at almost a hundred percent so it's that really really cold kind of cold
bad news guys <clears throat> we had a 35 mile per hour wind gust and it totally blew my chimney in half so my chimney is at a 90 degree angle I rolled it back up I don't know if I will be able to use it again it might be totally destroyed um, I got the stove put back in the backpack kind of organizing a little bit and getting things picked up organized to make packing up easy tomorrow so hoping for a quick pack up don't have to pack the pole up put on my shoes which are flying all over the place um pretty much just shove everything into my backpack and get out of here i think i think that's the plan no breakfast tomorrow no coffee um kind of a bummer about my about my uh chimney pipe i literally just bought that literally just bought it last week or something like that they take like a month to get here and it already broke it was my fault though or all in all a learning experience so i learned some guys and it's uh when you're winter camping you can't hot tent when there's going to be wind speeds over 30 or 35 miles per hour because it bends your chimney in half. Um, I didn't know that. This is only the first time I've ever been. First year of winter camping for me. So I guess I really didn't know exactly how strong the winds had to be to blow your chimney pipe over. The answer is at least 35, 30, 35 mile per hour. I don't know. I might have even got hit with the 40 mile per hour gust because just every all every single hexagon of this tent just caved in and it just went clunk and just bent and uh, uh, you know when the chimney pipe breaks it can fall over on your tent causing a fire and it can be pretty dangerous so that's the first thing I was worried about and it's sleeting outside it's under 32 degrees so you know you really don't want to get out of this tent and into those type of elements so you know imagine 35 mile per hour wind sleet under 32 not very good condition so had to get out there and see where my uh, chimney pipe fell to get it off the tent and I got it inside the tent rolled it up got it packed away got the stove emptied um, packed away in the bag um, so that's taken care of at least it's a very high quality stove but them chimney pipes not always the best other than that it's uh, looks like the winds died down a little bit um, I think we're gonna be able to make it through the night here
Good morning, guys. Oh, man. What a night. Slept pretty well. Overslept, too. It's 38.30. So, that's really late in the morning for a stealth camp. But, I know nobody's going to be out here, so... No big deal. I was so worried about this tree falling. But it held all night. Nice. Tent took a beat, bit of a beating. It's going in the trash. Camp is broken down now. I'm gonna put the backpack on, pick up our tarp, tent, <clears throat> bag, and get everything home. Let's do it. All right, folks, the only thing we're gonna leave behind is this dry spot. Let's get out of here. seen these uh, footprints here, so there's a person all the way down there. They don't want them to see me. I'd look totally ridiculous if they seen me. We're almost home. Hope to God the car is still there. This trail funded by Enhance Iowa's Community Attraction Tourism Program, otherwise known as CAT. Frozen fingers are always par for the course on these winter camping trips. Made her back home to the car, and uh, we're headed out. We'll see how that uh, broken chimney pipe turns out, but um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to reuse it again. We'll text, test it next week. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.